Hello, everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome to our YouTube group family. Today we are going to learn that how to use Bandicam for screen recording. I am going to tell how I record my screen using Bandicam mostly. For this tutorial, I am using Ops and Bandicam both screen recorders. The reason I prefer to use Bandicam over Ops is that I put too much load on the system that even I have open Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, as well as Chrome 2 or 3 browsers don't put on the system. So let's get started. Let's open the Bandicam. So here in the home tab, you have different options to record such as selected screen record, full screen record, screen record around the mouse, gaming record as well as device record. If you attached any, So in the selected area recording, you have different options. You can use the preset size which is given, but I usually use it. Select a recording area to record the video. Simply click and drag to that place you want to record. Usually, I don't record my taskbar I am starting recording, so that we can check the video quality of the video. So there are three options such as the Bandicam window always on the top, and so on I have checked them up, because I have not found them useful for me. So let's get into an advanced setting. So in the general setting, there is no such useful things that should be really discussed. However, you can check them up. In the output, you can browse the location you want to save the video. In the language, you can change your language according to your need. And in the others, we have the option we will check them up. So in the video recording setting. So let's check the sound setting first. Here you can select either you want to record your audio or not. So in the setting number, you have the option to save audio track while recording, which means it will save your audio into separate file too, which is quite a useful tool. In the primary sound device, select your output device so that it can record your output device audio as well as an input device. Here you can find all the options you installed into the system for input audio. As I have connected headphones too so it is also my headphone as an input device. As usually, I use voiceover for my tutorial, so I have disabled this. I am selecting my headphones for input audio for a while. As soon as you will enable it will ask you for the volume you want to keep for this input method. You can adjust the volume according to your need, make sure your input volume must be greater than the other audios, so that viewers can listen to you clearly. So in the next webcam is given, if you want to record your webcam you can simply check this sub. When you turn on your webcam there are two options which are added a webcam on this video, or and the other option is to save a webcam as a separate video. In the setting, you can select your camera to use as your webcam if you have an external camera to record your video. By default, its format is set auto detect format however you can change it if want to. You can check using the chroma key if you're recording your video on the chroma key Hello everyone, this is me I have noticed that my webcam has flipped my video let's correct this You can change the angle if you want to You can adjust the position where you want to put your webcam video.
you can adjust the overlay size. X axis position, Y axis position. You can change to the if you want to record your video while working on Photoshop. In the setting, you can adjust the settings of your webcam video. In the mouse setting, you can check on the show on the mouse cursor. You can change their colors too. You can import your logo. Usually, I don't use this option as we can place our logo in the video while editing at the specific place. However, you can use this if you want to. I am importing my old logo for this channel. You can adjust the position. In the video format setting, you can choose the video format such as AVI or MP4. I usually use MP4 in 1920 multiplied by 1080. You can choose the preset given, or you can create your custom video size too. I will recommend you the FPS between 30 to 60. H264 is a good quality codec. Quality should be 100%. You can change the audio frequency however I am leaving this as it is. Now the last option is autocomplete recording. I don't find this useful however you can check this if you want to autocomplete your recording. You can schedule your recordings too. Simply click on add and make settings. You can adjust it for one time, for daily, for weekly. You can check this up if you want to schedule your recording. In the next tab of video, you can set hotkeys to start or stop your recording for pausing. You can use any key which you want to. I have adjusted these too. From here you can also adjust the setting which we have checked into the advanced.
You can take snapshot while recording. You can set the hotkey for a snapshot as well as you can adjust what things should be in your image, cursor or logo. Shutter sound. You can set the image quality for your snap. Let's stop the recording check out how it is looking. So this is the quality of our recording is not it great. You can add text layers too as showing in our recording simply click on the T button which is in between the mouse and the pause button on Bandicam. All the changes that we have made will be in work on the next video we will record. So let's try this with new settings. So have a look at the logo which we have put and other settings which we have applied are working now. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you for watching.